And good evening to you. I'm meteorologist Jared Claiborne with your My 18 weather forecast. Some significant changes in store for your forecast coming up. Looks like uh, the storm system to our south is actually going to push off to the north over the next 12 to 24 hours. And this warm front we see here is actually going to push off as well. And we're going to see temperatures actually increase before they decrease after the passage of a cold front forecast to come through uh, as early as tomorrow for some places. It also looks like we could see some colder pockets of air that could support some snowfall that's north of Buffalo and near Green Bay. So keep that, keep that uh, in mind if you're heading out toward the north there. Uh, for Rochester this evening, we're forecasting a low of 39 degrees. Winds will be a little breezy out of the southwest there at 23 miles per hour as that storm system again tracks toward the north. Heavy rain is also forecasted for this evening. Going now into tomorrow, looks like Sunday is going to be a high of 53 degrees. We'll keep those rain and thunderstorms in the forecast. Winds still breezy out of the southwest. Here's your next five-day forecast. Looks like Rochester, you guys could see some rainfall tonight and uh, could change over to some snow tomorrow and last throughout the entire week as we still could have some moisture. Those temperatures hanging around the uh, lower 20s and dipping down Wednesday to the upper teens and even 13. Uh, that's coming by Thursday. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make it a great day. Happy New Year's Eve. It looks like the last day of the year is going to go out to be a pretty good one. In fact, you see it for yourself, mostly clear skies today. The current temperature about 42 degrees for tonight, though, as you're going out and popping your fireworks, looks like we're going to get some clouds in the picture. Looks like the rain we've had over the last couple of days is actually going to help out because it'll keep uh, those uh, fires from starting from you popping your fireworks tonight. So, guys, make it a safe one. I'm meteorologist Jared Claiborne. And a very happy New Year's Day to you. I'm meteorologist Jared Claiborne with the JSU TV forecast. On now to look at how it's looking across the nation. This high pressure that gave us pretty good clear skies for yesterday for the city of Jackson has actually moved off toward the east. And now we're keeping our eyes on this weather disturbance near Texas. That's going to be the focal point where we could see some uh, possible flooding on tomorrow and even going into Saturday with some severe thunderstorms on for your weekend. But now we're looking at the temperatures across the southeast for your New Year's Day. Coming in at a cool 34 and Tulsa 36 in Dallas where we're having some uh, rainfall there and coming in at 44 in Houston. So if you guys are in the nearby cities and other states, looks like it's not too shabby of a forecast. Looks like you may just need a light jacket or a poncho or an umbrella or so. Uh, right now we go into our Thursday evening. We see this system pushing off to the northeast as we stated earlier in the areas where you see the red, oranges and the yellows are where we can expect more intense rainfall. So it looks like parts of uh, looks like parts of uh, Arkansas going into northern Mississippi. It looks like we could see uh, some pretty good rainfall rates, some pretty good rainfall rather uh, come uh, New Year's Day evening. Going now into uh, the future cast to help you plan ahead. We're taking, a, taking an eye out for this system again. And the system is moving again to the north and east, and we're keeping an eye out. You see again where these uh, higher shaded uh, colors here are representative of more intense rainfall. and looks like we could focus more so on uh, northern Mississippi and parts of Arkansas there. That's going into Saturday uh, morning. All right, looks like the temperatures across the nation, cooler temperatures in the northwest. It looks like the warmer temperatures are in the southeast. It looks like 80 degrees for parts of the southern Florida Peninsula there. Uh, on now to a little zoom. We'll zoom in a bit to central Mississippi. Looks like 42 in Vicksburg near the river. Rolling Fork coming in a cooler at 40 degrees. And we go up a little bit north to Greenville at 38. And we're going, looks like going farther south and east, the warmer we get. 50 degrees for the city of Quitman there. Uh, overnight temperatures looking good. Uh, well, not really good. It just looks like rainfall is going to keep these temperatures at bay. 43 here in Yazoo City. And not much of a change as we go across to uh, Vicksburg at 43 and 45 there in Fort Gibson. Zooming in a bit, oh, well, actually looking at your day planner, at uh, noontime, we're looking for clouds to start moving in. High of 44 as that system nears the city of Jackson. Uh, by mid-afternoon, we'll see cloudy and cool temperatures at 48. And by later on in the early evening, showers will start to move in. At 45 degrees will be with those showers. Uh, for Jackson, for your New Year's Day and the surrounding cities, we'll be at 46 degrees and showers will be in the forecast now. So it's going to keep these temperatures kind of at bay, to keep us from reaching uh, uh, 50 degrees. So 45 here in Raymond and going toward the east, uh, 44 and Edwards, Mississippi with a warmer 47 in Crystal Springs, Mississippi. By uh, New Year's Day evening, keeping the showers in the forecast, temperatures only cool just a bit from the high temperature. Look at that, 42 there in Raymond and 42 in Edwards and the same for Clinton and not too much different here in Jackson for your New Year's Day forecast. On down to five day look at your uh, forecast. 
for today, we'll keep the showers at 40 percent. Uh, by Friday and Saturday, we'll keep those rain chances. We'll open them up to double them, then double what they are on for your New Year's Day. Looks like we'll see the possibility for some flooding come Friday and Saturday, even the chances for some severe thunderstorms. Uh, winds will be out of the south, and then by Sunday, it'll come from the northwest. And things cool down after the cold front passes through on Sunday. 51 is your current, well, your forecasted temperature for Sunday and Monday. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great New Year's Day. See ya.